Well, hello there. This is John from Poor Man's Garage. Uh, I guess I'm really anxious to drive this car, but uh, uh, today um, the temperature outside is about 42 degrees. It's about the warmest it's been. Um, so you, the last time you've seen the car, I managed to fix the wiring problem. Like I said, I apologize to uh, to Crane about the, there was nothing wrong with their uh, distributor, nothing wrong with their box. Uh, I guess I was gun shy because uh, I had actually four digital six plus box failures in five years. So that's why I don't run MSD anymore. I actually had four digital six plus box failures. The box just went uh, in five years. So my first thought when I didn't get spark was it's the ignition box. So. My apologies to Crane, um, so it was all me. It was uh, um, my fault <laughs> that I switched the wiring around to, to try to neaten it up and it just so happened that I picked the only wire probably on the whole car that when you, you try to start the car that the wire goes dead. So anyway, so where we're at now is, um, remember the air bleeds when I was talking to you about air bleeds that <clears throat> you have to set the air bleeds as lean as you can get it and yet the car still has to fire up and you know maybe you try it two three times and I'm talking about when the car's cold so now the car's been sitting for a week now and this is the warmest day that we've had I haven't tried to start it in a week right now currently my air holly air bleed is set for one turn out exactly one turn out which is the leanest this this car's ever been as far as the air bleeds go usually about they're about one and a quarter right now they're one out so we're gonna see how good the car starts up when it's cold. If it starts up and idles semi-fast, um, there bleeds, I'm not gonna touch them. But right now I'm at one out. And then um, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna back the car up into the garage, get it straight, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to put your air conditioning, your r 134 in. Exactly how to do it, how to bleed the lines, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna explain to you how how to do it. Like I said, I'm I'm anxious to drive the car, but I'm, I'm gonna hold out because um, I know the car ain't gonna hook up at all at 42 degree temperature. And um, <clears throat> but I am gonna show you guys how to do the air conditioning. So let's uh, let's get to it. Let's see if this thing will fire up. <laughs>
Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to take the car out. Okay, I'm, <clears throat> I'll, I'll take you guys along for the ride. All right, see you in a minute. As you can see, we just went for a ride. Um, I know my air bleed's got to go out a little bit. Um, as it gave me a hard time starting. And also when I was driving along, I had an idle that wanted to stall. So they got to go out just to scotch. And right now, the brakes don't work. At least not very well. Because the car's been sitting a year and a half, um, I think the rotors are shot. But we're going to take it out one more time after I set the air bleeds and see if the rotors don't get better. Okay, see you soon. Um, okay, so I, I squeezed the throttle a little bit more, um, and uh, it, it wants the air bleed wants to be one and a quarter. Um, now I'm going to check a plug, and uh, temperatures okay. The brakes are still 
real bad. So um, gonna have to do something with the brakes. They get, they're getting better because the rust is going away from sitting for a year and a half. But um, I, I wouldn't want to drive it like that. But little, little um, small drives that we're doing on it. You know, getting the motor broken in currently, bringing it up a little bit more on the RPMs, and uh, I'll be, be okay. Uh, but uh, definitely has to get fixed. But right now I'm going to check the plug and see what my plugs look like. Okay, I'll see you soon. Hello again, this is John. Okay, we took it out for a little run. Um, I checked my plugs. My plugs are, I'm, I'm way on the rich side. I have nothing to worry about there. Um, my air bleeds, I set them back to a little bit bigger than one and a quarter. Um, Cause the way, when I come to a stop sign, the idle would drop, it, it stalled. So I know that my air bleeds want to be back at one and a quarter. Um, my jetting, it should be about where it's supposed to be. I've been playing around with the car, like I said, for five years. So I know my jetting, it's gotta be pretty good. Um, so the only thing we got uh, to do now is I, I took my primary float and I dropped it down a little bit to match my secondary float. We're gonna check the timing on it. I know my plugs, it's rich. My air bleeds are about one and a quarter now. Um, so we're gonna get back to the air conditioning. I know I, I, the way the motor ran in the driveway, it was running funny and it, it made me nervous. So I wanted to take it out on the road to see if I can't uh, figure out what's what's up with it. And what it was is the air bleeds were too tight. To, to, I, they had to come out. And that's basically the only thing that was wrong with it is I had my air bleed so far in that it was acting funny. So, so anyways, getting back to the air conditioning, I'll show you guys uh, exactly what you gotta do. I'll get back to you in a second once I get uh, all my stuff out of the back. All right, see you soon. <laughs> 